welcome to challenging hand problems. In this lesson I'm learning to solve addition and subtraction problems using two hands that involve crossing over from one hand to the other to work out the answer. Let's imagine I've got six pencils and I lose two of them and I want to work out how many pencils I've got left. Well to answer this question we're going to use our hands. So down here are the two hands that I'm going to use. Now first of all I need to represent 6 using my fingers. So I need to think how could I represent 6? Well I know that 6 will be all of these 5 fingers here. And to make the 6 I'm going to have to use this finger over here as well. So that's 6. Now the question says I need to subtract 2. So I could start by subtracting 1 which would get rid of this finger here. So we'll cross that this finger here out. Now I still need to subtract one more because the question says I need to subtract 2. I've already subtracted 1 so I need to subtract more, one more. So this time I'm going to have to come over to this hand here and cross out this one. So now it's easy to see that we've got four fingers left. So 6 minus 2 equals 4. Let's try another question. This time I have 8 strawberries and I eat 6 of them so I want to work out how many strawberries I have left. My first job is going to be show, to show 8 on my fingers. Well I know I've got 5 here which means I must need three more on the other side. So I'm just going to shade five fingers over here and now I'm going to move over to my second hand and I'm shading three on this one. One, two, three. So that's five, six, seven, eight fingers. Now the question says that I need to take away six. So what I could do is start by taking away 3 and that would get rid of the 3 that's on this hand. So I'll cross out these ones. You could just fold down your fingers though. So that's 3 gone. And the question said I had to take away 6. I've only taken away 3. That means I must still need to take away another 3. So this time I'm going to have to come to this hand to cross out 3 and I'm crossing out three fingers over here but you would just be folding down your fingers. And you can see that that has left us with two fingers. So 8 minus 6 equals 2. Now let's try an addition question. This time I've got four tennis balls and my friend gives me another three. So I want to work out how many tennis balls do I have in total. Well, to start with, I'm going to need to show 4 using my fingers. So I can do that by marking these 4 fingers. What you could do is just stretch those fingers out. Now the question says I then need to add 3 more. Well, I could start by just adding 1 because that would fill up this hand here. So I'll put a mark on this hand this finger here but you would just stretch it out. Now you can see the question says I needed to add 3. So far I've just added 1 so I must still need to add 2 more. So I'm going to have to use this hand to do that. So I'm going to shade these two fingers but you would just stretch them out and now it's easy to see that we've got 5 fingers on this hand, 2 fingers on this hand so in total we've got 7. So 4 plus 3 equals 7. Let's try another question. This time I've got 3 birthday cards and my friends at school give me 6 more. I want to work out how many birthday cards do I have in total. Well just like before I'm going to start by showing 3 using my fingers. So I'm going to mark these 3 fingers here but you could just stretch them out. Now the question says I need to add 6, but if I added 2 more, I would have all my fingers over here outstretched. So let's start by doing that. 
so I'm shading these two fingers but you'd just be stretching them out. Now the question says we needed to add 6 but we've only added 2 so far so that must mean we need to add another 4. And you can see I'm going to have to come over to this hand to do that. So I'm shading 4 fingers over here but you'd just be stretching them out. So now it's easy to see we've got 5 fingers stretched out and 4 fingers stretched out so in total we've got 9 fingers stretched out or 3 plus 6 equals 9. Well, I hope you've found this lesson helpful. For more help check out teachertools.co.nz